As Glaives are slowly getting picked up by players and by others who will give them a second thought, there are many things you may not know about them in terms of what is best perks to aim for, mass work to use, what to keep, and what to scrap, and all this can be overwhelming for some. But luckily we have great resources like LightGG available that can show you what to aim for. If however you want to aim for more endgame focus only, then there's quite a few things you need to know. For starters, shields on glaives matter, and the higher your shield stat is, the longer you'll be able to keep going while being shot at. Having something like 50 plus is the sweet spot you want to aim for, as this will give you enough duration to last whatever is being chucked at you, and this could be make or break in Grand Masters, as combatants hit incredibly hard, and destroy you in 2-3 to three hits. Now, getting auxiliary reserves perk in the first slot is the number one thing you want to aim for, for all glaives, as this will give you a plus 15 in that one stat, but will then take minus 10 reload speed off you. Of course, you can also pick up low impedance winding as well, which will boost your shield stat as well. Now of course, this isn't a huge issue as you can slowly back away behind cover or reload, or if you're a hunter, you can just dodge to reload. But you also want to do the same with getting a mass work shield as well, as this will greatly help along the way. Only catch here is that if you craft the glaive by scratch, you can't add a mass work to it, so you will be losing out on that extra benefit. But this benefit here isn't too much to disrupt your play, if you get lucky. Now of course you can go for more range and reload instead, but I would say that's more recommended for PvP, even though shields are more better to have instead, or vice versa. Remember that in PvE you're getting a 97.5 damage reduction, which is very noticeable and worth investing in, even if you want the full investment going. Now your second slot of course is down to user preference as it's mainly first, third and fourth slot that are the main ones to focus on. However, in case you're looking for a perfect role, you want to focus on reload speed as glaives in general can be quite slow to reload. No matter if you play in PvE or PvP, a fast reload will always give you an edge and you'll notice this night and day as difficulty starts to ramp up. Alloy Magazine and Light Mag are two of the best perks to aim for as the reload speed buff you get is enough to get you back into action even when you have your shields down. In PvP, this would mean you can re-engage fights much faster without the delay of backing off all the time, while in PvE you can use this to engage targets at a moderate distance and not worry about needing to use your melee to close the gap, as 9 times out of 10, this doesn't always work out. Using your melee in some scenarios aren't always the best as well, and this can have a negative impact while using glaives in general. Keep in mind that to keep your shield going, you must get some energy via the projectiles used by yourself. Always project off first with your glaive, and then block after, as this will allow you to retain your defensive position and carry on doing damage while under cover. I only recommend you use your glaive melee in high end game content and GMs if you get the first hit in, or the baton has been stunned. Never engage if these options aren't available, as I have learned a hard lesson around this, and you too will. But when it comes to the ultimate final perk combo to use, it can be slightly hard to pick as each and every glaive have their own pool of perks to pick from. Now I won't go through every perk combo as that would be at least one hour to go through, but there is a key combo to aim for, for all glaives in game, and that is Impulse Amplifier and Unstoppable Force. Impulse Amplifier will increase your projectile reload speed, while Unstoppable Force will grant you a 30% damage boost while blocking. This is the best perk combo you want to use as this will help with landing your shots faster and being able to hit harder while using your glaive to the fullest. No matter if you are in PvE or PvP, this here will carry you and make your lives easy and I will recommend you do the same. A really good glaive you can get is the Enigma, which you can get from the Witch Queen campaign and is one of the easiest ones to achieve this role, as shown, and is the best place to start before you venture off into trying other glaives available. At the same time, you have other perks like Substance, Demolitionist, Frenzy, Vorpal, Immovable Object, etc. that can also synergize with your build in mind, with many allowing you to keep a fast paced or slow paced approach within the content you're in. I've made a Titan Stasis build that focuses on pure defensive war power, while another build that I created focuses on the Hunter with Mask of Basquiat and creating a fast paced and powerful build. All of this was to simply see how far Glaze can be pushed. You can do many, many builds with glaives alone, and as long as you focus on key stat areas for your weapon, you can get away with any perk combo you like with no fear. If you just want a simple but amazing setup though, then the above recommendation is what you're after. So a quick summary of what we covered. Shields are important and you want to invest in them as much as you can. 
Don't use your melee all the time, but rather use it when the opportunity is available. Focus on shields and then reload speed as your main stats. Unstoppable force and impulse are the key to a perfect roll. And lastly, make sure you try out other perk combos with your build as you can pull off some crazy stunts when done correctly. I hope this brief video has enlightened you as to how to use glaives in endgame and what you should mainly focus on when doing so. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content. Once again, thanks for stopping by, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one.